This is my second talk and I'm trying to do it in nature with all the natural sound that's going on and seeing how it records uh, at a farm in, in India. It's a bit of a, a cut off, off from um, work. So today's talk is um, going to be that of uh, a simple subject is, is there any difference from genetic abnormalities or embryos that are produced in a natural cycle or in a stimulated cycle? So and why do we have this discussion? We have this discussion mainly because people believe that in a natural cycle, the embryo is chosen and the egg is chosen by nature and that may be better. And in IVF, we feel that we are stimulating the ovaries more aggressively and that may give rise to uh, better quality embryos. Now, in this study of almost a huge number of, of cycles, uh, where they try to look at natural and abnormal, and what they noticed is that during stimulation, uh, one of the challenges you face in natural IVF is around 12% ovulated prematurely. The natural cycles had a 57% genetic normality while the stimulated cycle had 56.5% normality. In 2012, another study suggested in egg donors suggested that the natural cycle had a 34% aneuploidy, while a stimulated cycle had a 38.2% aneuploidy rate. So uh, clearly there seems to be that Stimulation does not seem to have a very toxic effect on the embryo. But again, we have to wait for the data. And what we can say is IVF does not increase the risk of having more abnormal embryos. Thank you.